Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peacock Computer Training. And in this video, I'm going to look at how to create a drop down list that includes an if statement. So if you look at this drop down list for our wedding invites, initially it only shows family members. But if I wanted to show friends and family, so a longer list, I could click on this top option and then the drop down list shows many more names. That's quite useful. By default, it shows a much shorter list, but I have the option to show a longer list. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, what you want to do is start off with your two lists, your shorter list and your longer list, and then you need a heading at the top of each list. And it's almost as if the heading is the wrong heading. So the shorter list has show friends and family. So that's almost the heading for this list and vice versa. Just show family shows the friends and family, the longer list. Okay, you'll see why this is necessary. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my if statement in the sheet initially, and then we'll delete it later. But I just find writing the if directly in the sheet is much easier than typing it into the data validation box. So if, if B2, which is where we're going to have our first dropdown list is equal to, this value here, which I need to fix. I'm going to fix it because I'm going to be applying the data validation list to all these cells, comma. Then I want to return this list. So notice I included the heading in my selection. I need to fix that as well. And then if it isn't, then I want to show this list. Again, I've selected the heading at the top there. Right, so I close my bracket and press enter. Now I'm in Excel 365, so it spills its results into surrounding cells. If yours doesn't do that, it doesn't matter at all, because all we're gonna do is take this formula and copy it, Control C. Then I'm gonna select all the cells that I want the dropdown list to appear in. Data tab on my ribbon, data tools group, data validation button, which is the one with the green tick and the red no entry sign on it. And I want to allow a list and in the source box, control V to paste in your formula. Click on OK. So now, at the moment, I've got my shorter list of family members. But if I select show friends of family, I then get a much longer list. But I can also, if I have switched to the longer list, switch back to just show family to get the shorter list. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.